Hello there, my fellow Vault Dwellers and Wasteland Wonders. What's up? It's Robbie with Our World Games, and we are revisiting the world of post-apocalyptic Boston to talk about all things Fallout 4. So as always, use the video guide in the description below to skip ahead to the news you seek. So yes, there's going to be a ton of talking in Fallout 4. There's going to be over 111,000 lines of dialogue in this game. That is mind-blowing, guys. To give you an idea of what that means, uh, this game is going to have more dialogue in it than Skyrim and Fallout 3 combined. So that just means I would expect this game to be double the size in terms of depth, in terms of story, in terms of side questing than Skyrim and Fallout 3, maybe even combined. But this is going to be an absolutely massive game, probably one of the biggest games ever created from what I am gathering. And also the mod support, the mod community will give it so much more life, even with the 400 plus hours. And also Three Dog, our good friend Three Dog, will not be returning in Fallout 4. So for those of you that wanted Three Dog to be talking to you over the radio, that is not going to be happening. Let me know if that disappoints you or not in the comments below. Also, Obsidian, the guys that made Fallout New Vegas, spoke about Fallout 4 and gave their opinions about this. This is very interesting. You can find that in the description below. But I'm curious, do you guys want to see Obsidian make a, you know, Fallout New Vegas type game again? Maybe we'll see something like that uh, a year, a year and a half after Fallout 3. Please post in the comments below if you want to see something like that. Uh, the one thing I did notice about Obsidian's game, Fallout New Vegas, when it initially released, it was just absolutely riddled with bugs. So I'm very curious to see if Bethesda and Obsidian actually do team up. But a lot of you guys love Fallout New Vegas. Please let me know, by the way, do you prefer Fallout 3 or are you more of a fan Excuse me, of Fallout New Vegas? Post in the comments below, but I guess they made a huge accomplishment with New Vegas by getting it out within 18 months. That is incredible. So if they were given more time and a lot more resources and manpower, I think they can create something absolutely incredible. So Fallout 4 looks like an insane game to play. It looks like it's insanely in-depth. I mean, you've got the settlement building, you've got the weapon crafting, but Robbie, I'm the type of dude that just wants to sit down for 15 minutes, 30 minutes max. I want to do several different things in my game and feel like I have accomplished something. Well, the good news is it has been confirmed that settlement building and crafting are completely optional. If you just want to roam around and take on missions and find those rare, unique weapons along the way, I'm sure that Bethesda has carved out this amazing path where they have those rare weapons available during the story and the side activities. Well, yes, you can do that too. Some of you just don't have that time to craft and to settlement, settlement build. But for those of you that do, it's going to be a freaking epic option. Let me know what type of time you guys have for Fallout 4. I know a lot of us will not see the sun for a very, very long time. And the PC system requirements for Fallout 4 were spotted. Now, this could be an error on Amazon.com's part, but I did want to share it with you anyway. You can find that in the description below. But let me know what you guys make of the PC system requirements. I think they're way too low. These are going to be your bare, bare minimum system requirements. But if you are going to be playing Fallout 4 on PC, it is highly recommended that you consider upgrading your graphics card for sure. No more am I going to neglect your guys' top comments. So here we go, guys. Let's dive into your comments about all things Fallout 4. So our first comment comes from TNT Gaming, who goes on to say, Imagine if in the swamp there was a chance of seeing the ghost of Paul Revere riding on a ghost horse yelling, The British are coming! And then a bunch of redcoat ghouls come out and start attacking you. This would be freaking badass. I would love to see this. You know, in fact, Todd Howard said one of the big reasons they chose Boston was simply because of the great American history. And, you know, this city saw a massive fire during the 1700s. Wouldn't mind seeing that being covered. Maybe seeing some spirits talking about it or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but, yes, history is going to play a big role. And I love that idea. It's a better idea than what Assassin's Creed 3 did, at least. They had Paul Revere riding on the back of your horse. Which I remember thinking, wait, isn't this degrading to Mr. Revera? 
Uh, but yeah, hopefully they show some cool historical references in Fallout 4. John John goes on to say, I kind of thought that a 5 versus 5 multiplayer game mode for this game where you work together to build a base by looting and the way to win is by destroying something in the other team's base. Thought it would be cool, either that or you can hire mercenaries in the game to go attack your friend's base all the while you're both playing on separate games. Man, I would just love to see something like this. You know, Metal Gear Solid uh, The Phantom Pain has something similar to this where you have your forward operating base and someone can actually invade your base and take that on. So I would love, absolutely love to see some sort of multiplayer component outside of the story missions, mind you, for Fallout 4 because I know you guys love your story in Fallout games. You really don't want to mess with the great single player experience on offer in the Fallout games. So the best way to do that is to include multiplayer in your settlement building, in your crafting experience, and those epic side missions maybe. So let me know, are you guys for multiplayer? It's something I would like to eventually see, but the single player uh, experience has to be there. And it is 400 plus hours there for Fallout 4. Can you imagine having the 400 plus hours? And then some sort of mind-blowing uh, uh, multiplayer experience on top of it. Hopefully a modder can get clever with this game and try to support it. But yes, love that idea as well. So keep them ideas coming down below in the comments below. Love reading your thoughts and comments about Fallout 4. Man, it is fast approaching. We are in fall, basically. It is uh, September as of this making of this video. Cannot wait for Fallout 4. Of course, it is releasing November 10th on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Let me know what console you are getting it on. I'm very curious. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I will see you soon enough in the Wasteland. Bye!